<laughs> hey everyone, I'm the Lone Wolf, and welcome to West Grove, a PS1 styled horror game with a found footage story. With some inspiration from some 90s movies, as the description says. A little bit of the story is that we are a freelance amateur videographer, selling our footage to TV shows, news channels, weddings, etc. And today is just going to be another job in Westgrove. So, what are we waiting for? It's pretty much what it says. I just changed some of the words to fit. Um, this is a game made by Spring Rabbit. And seems like it'll be a pretty good game. So let's dive right in. Starting operating system, blah, blah, blah. Oh, alright. Video calibration. Camera box. It is empty. Is it? I never would have noticed. Actually, I wouldn't have noticed because it's closed. Moving snapshots. Bring the video camera to your eye and press the button. That's all you have to do. Every spontaneous moment, a tweaked nose or a cheeky expression can be caught forever on video. The days of rigid formality in front of a camera are gone. See it, shoot it, it's as simple as that. There is, however, nothing simple inside the VC3000. Okay, I'll buy one. Okay. Oh, I got a stamina meter. No, that's bad. Oh, I see. The lamp's not actually a 3D model. It's just a, um, a PNG. I still remember the day we took this family photo. My parents are always calling me to invite me to their house. I always tell them I'm out of time. I'm afraid someday the, the call will be saying their time is up. Do you not like your parents? Hello? Hello, it's Jim. What's up? You've done the Westgrove filming for me? Not yet, my camera broke, I just bought a new one. This story can make us some good money, you know. If you need to do the usual, get some crazy guy and pay him like five dollars. So we can say he saw the Bigfoot, the flying saucer, whatever it is this time. Alright, I'm heading there now. As soon as I have all the footage, I will call you back. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Monday, March 4th, 1985. Why don't you set it in the 90s, if it's got a 90s found footage style to it? Oh, equipped backpack. And I'm getting changed. Wow, don't I look lovely? Wow, that's loud. Or at least it was in my ears. Yawn. Shit, what is this place? How long did I sleep? The damn driver dropped me off in the industrial zone. I must be up at bleh. I must be behind the town. The road looks empty. I don't think I'll be able to get a ride here. Ugh, that's ominous. Why is it wobbling? This factory looks abandoned. The graffiti on the door is creepy. Oh, that is graffiti. I thought that was just the door looking moldy. Gee, I don't, I don't think a big metal door can get moldy. Seems to have an entrance. Maybe I can go through the forest to get to town. Oh, I don't like this. What is going on? Why is everything shifting? Is this what PlayStation 1 styled games look like? Actually, weren't all PlayStation 1 games just... Hello? What is this? 
I... I don't remember seeing this. This scarecrow is bizarre. Maybe there was a farm nearby that discarded it. I... I'll have to check back through... Um... When editing... And if it is there, I'll... I'll put it up on the screen. And if it's not there, obviously I'll put that up on the screen as well. So yeah, um, I didn't think... Oof. PlayStation 1 games could be like this. I thought they were all... Sort of 2D. Or I didn't think it was until the second PlayStation console that they introduced sort of 3D movements. Because you had um, Spyro on the PlayStation 2, I think it was. Apart from the weird warping of the, well, all the textures, it's a, quite a nice looking game. I have no idea what it is I'm supposed to be finding, or what's supposed to be in West Grove. I didn't see anything in the description about a monster or something. Maybe it's the bizarre trees that's made the town famous. It's getting dark. I better set up camp here. Tomorrow morning I arrive in town to finish filming. I need to find some sticks to light the fire. I think I can find some further on. You carried all this in your bag? Lighter. No, I'm taking my torch. A flashlight. Guess not. Um, sticks? Wow, that, that looked weird. I was definitely entering another dimension from there. Th those aren't sticks. Here are sticks. Hmm. Oh, why are they... These sticks aren't solid, they're liquids. Oh, uh, um... You know what? Can I go back and... I can't go back. That scarecrow. I mean, you've def you definitely saw the scarecrow. Now I can rest for a while. I'd better pack my things inside the tent. I'm just paranoid now. Oh. Okay, I'm hearing whispers. Looks like it's already dark. I just want to smoke a cigarette and eat something. Perfect meal. Where's my cigarette pack? I must have left it in my backpack. Please pick up the torch. It's not here. It must have fallen out of my pocket at the bus stop. Shit, I can't concentrate without my cigarette. I think I can get my flashlight and go there real quick. At least I'll use it for something. Oh. Alright. I don't want to do this. It's like the middle of the night. Do you really need to have a smoke? Just go back to bed.
Okay, well, my stamina meter's not here anymore. Alright. Let's see if that scarecrow... I don't like this. Not one bit. It's bad enough that I'm in here at all. But in the dark? That's just worse. Hello? Oh... The thing's watching me, but I don't know if that's just because it's a PNG texture and it doesn't actually have a physical model. Did, did I take the wrong way? I'm pretty sure this was the right way. How did that wall get there? Looks like it has some newspapers pasted on it. Which I think... I must have missed it. Damn, I'm starving. Better try to find my way back to camp and get something to eat. It was that way, I think. What did the newspaper clippings say? Missing Henry Simmons, 13 years old, black hair, brown eyes. March 18th, 1932. Volunteer searchers find no trace of Thomas Lewis. Local Derryfield police believe the man fled on account of some gambling debts. Thomas's family does not believe this version. April 6th, 1932, missing since December 14, 1931, 17-year-old student Helen Baker disappeared 13 months ago. The police found her dress yesterday morning without any rips or marks, which indicates that she took it off herself. October 28, 1932, distrust and fear spread through Derryfield, and the rest of it is illegible. Missing illegible. January 22, 1933. Several residents are moving out of Derryfield. A debate rages at Town Hall to decide the town's future. Okay. And sort that creepy scarecrow. I knew something was up with that scarecrow the moment I saw it. But I'm still curious to see if that scarecrow was where we first saw it. Well, if like, if I walked past it or not. But you think you would see something like that first time. Do we think the scarecrow is going to actually try and hurt us? Or is it just more of a, a spooky thing to scare us? Thank God I managed to find the camp. I hope my lunch is still in my backpack. Peanut butter and bread. This forest is kind of creepy at night. I think I might go a little further and do some filming for Jim. No. I don't need to enter the tent right now. Yeah, well, don't you have to get your camera or... Oh. It's found footage styled game. Meaning that cameras on my head that explains why the camera box didn't have a camera in it all right other dimension here I come all right Um, controls. I can drop an item. Oh, that's only if I'm holding it. The flashlight would be a, an item you couldn't drop. Well, I don't remember seeing this before. 
I mean, earlier I was just looking for sticks, so why would I look for this? No, you're not doing a Blair Witch on me. Don't put the spooky house here. <sighs> really? Do you want me to stand in the corner and stare at the wall as well? February 2nd, 1933. Town of Derryville on the brink of bankruptcy. Illegible. Mayor Frank Barnes declined interview. How does a town go bankrupt like a whole town? With all the businesses... Nothing in there. With all the businesses going on in a town, how does the whole town go bankrupt? Okay, can't open that. That's a door. No, nothing in there. Mattress. Ugh. I thought that was a piece of wood. Maybe this is useful. A hanger. Use the hanger. It's hard to see anything. Door is a little cracked. I can see the hinge on the other side. Maybe I can unscrew it somehow. There is there is something there. There's a um. How do I? Okay, I thought I grabbed the the um the hanger. Was it not metal? I need to finish filming before I leave. But I I don't have anything in my pockets. I can't. Unscrew it with what? Nothing interesting, just some old rags. There is... So there's only like four different things. E to interact, shift to run, left to... Left click is next dialogue. Q is drop item, but I don't have an item to drop. What is this? Strange wall. Okay. Screwdriver. What was that? The Quidditch pitch from Harry Potter? I can't identify what that would be, but it would surely bring a lot of audience to Jim. As long as I don't see a creepy scarecrow in this building, all will be fine. Gee, I don't want to see anything in this building. Wow, that was heavy. It is not working. What happened here? It's empty. Well, that's going to move. February 26th, 1933. This Sunday, the population rate of Derryville has been updated and is estimated to have dropped approximately 86% since 1932. Mayor Frank Barnes finally spe uh, speaks out about the case and as a last resort, he reached a consensus to rename the town of Derryville to West Grove in hopes to attract new tourists and residents. How did it move on its own? So for a town to drop by 86% in a year, that's, there's going to be like no one left. Oh!
No, fuck this, I'm out. I don't need, I, I... No. I, I, I don't know where I am. I'm lost. Oh, what the hell? No. <laughs> the hell? Oh, thank you for closing the game on me. That means a lot. Okay, I... I, I really don't know what to say. I'm sort of... A, the game scared all the knowledge out of my brain. Um, I want to know what was chasing me, but I don't think there was an actual thing. I think it was just the sound of it chasing me mate, would obviously make you want to run. Well, there we have it. That was West Grove by Spring Rabbit. I liked it. Ooh. All right. He's made a couple of other ones. Okay, I'm going to check those out. Uh, so, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you want to see more just like this and you don't want to miss anything, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.